please jump when you're ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, the first one. The strangest, strangest rumor you ever heard about yourself? Actually, not really. I haven't really heard a crazy one for a while. Okay. No. Okay, what is the best? Did you hear? <laughs> Are you creating one? <laughs> Best and worst pickup line that have ever been used on you. Uh, the worst, the worst one was. Uh, it was really funny. Someone asked me, "Are you really married? Are you sure you're married?" Shut me. Oh yeah. Katam. I'm like, yeah. No. I'm like, you want me to show you a picture? So then they're like, oh, but. That's from your wedding. That could be from a movie also. I'm like, ha, shadi, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's from a movie. Ha, best, okay. Okay. Awesome. But not. I, I never got a really bad pickup lines. Yeah. The weirdest habit you have that annoys others. I'm always uh, five minutes late, if not ten. I'm late five minutes always. Um, I can't keep what my what I'm thinking inside, so it always comes out. And uh, I get into trouble because of that. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I have a very loud laugh, uh, which can be very annoying if you're in a very quiet, nice restaurant. And I have a really loud, funny sneeze that sounds like a dog barking. And uh, yeah. One thing that annoys you the most? Well, other people? Fake smile, I think that really annoys me. This is genuine. No, they are not genuine. They'll say it. <laughs> no, I don't like, I, I hate fake smiles. I don't like, um, I don't like people who are very negative. Like, you know, when they say I'm stressed out, I'm like this, I'm like that, I can't, like, I go away. I'm trying to, do row, do row. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Describe yourself in three words. Uh, partly mental, partly adventurous, but fully happy. <laughs> if you have to be forced to choose between acting or dance, which one would you pick? I would pick both, yeah. I would pick both, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an actor because I was a dancer. And because I'm an actor, uh, I would love to use what I have here uh, to get back uh, off stage. Because the thing is, uh, Indian classical dance is so beautiful. We don't have enough theatres, we don't have enough uh, people who are educated. Like a lot of people haven't even seen Kathak Bharnatyam or Manipuri performance. I bet they can't even differentiate. Um, people don't really know. Uh, a lot about our own Kathak career. When I travel abroad, I'm like surprised. People know a lot more about our dances. And uh, they, lot, they know a lot more about our culture. Uh, and dance is a very strong uh, part of our culture. And I would like to, uh, to take it forward and, uh, and spread it more. Are you a morning person or a night person? It depends uh, where I am. Because when I wake up here, it's like really early in Barcelona. <laughs> I, it, it depends on my work, yeah. Really. Okay. yeah. Uh, what fashion or beauty trend do you just not get? Or uh, you know, one thing you would never wear? One thing I'll never wear, asymmetrical shirt, skirts. I find them really funny. I don't like... Um, um, I don't like printed, printed pants. Uh, especially animal prints, I don't like them. Uh, yeah, I don't like animal print uh, pants. Especially those leopard ones, no? I don't like them. Never like them. Uh, three things you cannot leave your house without. Sense of humor, because uh, I get into trouble a lot, it helps me to get out. Uh, sense of humor, 
with my uh, house keys. Because um, then if I don't get them, I, I'll be locked outside. That wouldn't be nice. And uh, card, yeah. Cash or card. Okay, final question. One Tollywood couple you would want to go on a double date with? A Tollywood couple? Mm. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a cool one. Um, there are two actually. Actually, three. Uh, Nag and Amla, because Amla is the one who got me into Vipassana and I made Andre do Vipassana and he loves it. And mm -hmm. Nag, uh, I think Nag, Amla, me and Andre can have lovely conversations. Um, uh, yeah, and I would love to take Andre and love him to meet Rajnisa and his wife. Because they both are such humble people mm -hmm. and it would be just amazing to meet them. Just sit with them and just talk. Because he's, he's great with the conversations and he knows a lot about um, yoga, meditation. And he's a very well read man. So I think it would be very interesting for, yeah, it would be a great conversation, I know. I can totally imagine it would be a fun conversation. Alright, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.